today we're going to look at a word problem. Um, so here on the screen we have a farmer has 2,000 linear feet of fencing and wishes to enclose a rectangular field for his livestock. What is the maximum area he can enclose and what are the optimal dimensions of the field? So we know we have a perimeter that can equal 2,000. So we're going to start there. But the perimeter is going to be, if we call this side W, and these longer sides are going to be L, our perimeter is going to be 2W plus 2L equals 2,000. But that doesn't really help us, because now we just have more variables, and we don't know what they are. So what we're going to do instead um, is we're going to divide this whole problem by 2. So we're going to have W plus L equals 1,000. And then if we subtract the W to the other side, we'll get 1,000 minus W for our length. And that's going to let us eliminate a variable here. So what we're actually looking for is the maximum area. So if we have area is length times width, well, we just found L is 1,000 minus W. So our area is going to be 1,000 minus W times W. And when we get there, if we want to maximize our area, we can start by distributing. And then we need to take the derivative of this. So the derivative of 1,000w is just 1,000. And then the derivative of w squared is going to be 2w. And our maximum area um, is going to be found when we set this derivative equal to 0. That's going to be, because if you think of this original area, it's kind of like, if we were to draw a graph here, it's some kind of parabola open, opening downwards. So we want to find this point at the very top, because this area, this, this y value is kind of our maximum area. So we want to get the point at the very top of the hill where we've maximized our dimensions. So by setting it equal to 0, we find where the tangent is horizontal, right at the top of the little mountain there. So then we add 2w to both sides. And we find that our optimal width is 500. And then if we plug in um, back in our perimeter up here, we know that 2 times 500 plus 2 times the length is going to be 2,000. And then again, we can just divide this whole problem by 2. So we'll get 500 plus L equals 1,000. And then subtract 500 from both sides. And we'll get our length is also 500. And now for our final step here, now that we know what L and W are, we need to find our area, which is length time width. So it'll be 500 squared. And 500 squared is going to be 250,000 square feet. And that's how we handle these.